Yo, what up, my certain man? It's your boy over here. So, what we're talking about in this video is how to get out the friend zone with three practical steps. And the first thing we're talking about is how you got in the friend zone and how to avoid it completely possible. It's okay, guys. I've been in the friend zone hella times. And it's probably not gonna be the last time I'm getting the friend zone. Shit, I don't know. I'm trying to avoid it as much as possible. But I got out the friend zone and you guys can get out too. All right? So, let's watch this whole video through. <laughs> Let me talk about why you got put in a friend zone. She said, let's just be friends. The reason you got put in a friend zone is because you acted like a fucking friend, a nice guy. A girl cannot put you in a friend zone. You put yourself in a friend zone. Let me say it again. A girl cannot put you in a friend zone. You put yourself in a friend zone by acting like a fucking friend. Most likely, you had the sniper approach. The sniper approach. Basically, this means you want to be her friend first. You acted like a nice guy. You pretended to be her boyfriend first, doing everything she wanted, always being there for her, always giving her attention, and then just waiting for your perfect opportunity. So you being a sniper, you ever play Call of Duty? You're waiting for your perfect opportunity, and then you go for your shot, boom. But by that time, it's too late. She already sees you as a friend, and she probably messed with a bunch of guys already while you're in the background. So why the why the big jerk alpha buff guy the certain guy is over there fucking her she's coming back to you with her problems basically you're being her an emotional you're being her emotional tampon when she has a problem you're there to suck it up and listen no guys never be a girl's friend first if you want a girl pursue her and go after her trust me every girl knows when you like her. Every girl knows you want her. They don't, and they want to get out the friend zone. You don't want to be her friend. But if you don't make a move, you're not causing friction. You're not giving sexual attention. You're not giving her a reason to like you. When you actually make your move, this is when she has to decide if she wants you in her life or not. And girls love putting guys in the friend zone, right? Being put in the friend zone is equivalent to as a guy just being a girl's fuck buddy. Like when a guy only calls a girl just a fuck and doesn't talk to her and just does a kicks out right after her, that's the equivalent of a girl putting you in the friend zone. Okay? Because you're she just she's just getting your non-sexual attention. She's just getting you texting her. She's getting you calling her. She's getting all your energy while she doesn't have to have fuck you at all. Basically, she doesn't have to kiss you all. She doesn't have to see you in a sexual way. And you're a guy. You want her sexual attention, okay? So, number one thing is avoid the friend zone from the very beginning. And the ways you can avoid the friend zone from the very beginning is breaking the touch barrier as fast as possible. Trying to get sexual as fast as possible. Even if you're not trying to actually like smash her right away, even touching her or touching her on the back over here. You know, girls love when you touch them right here, okay? Or even saying like, damn, in that dress, you look good as hell. Or even saying like, yo, things I would do to you. Or even texting her, let's go out for drinks rather than go out for food. Hanging with her one-on-one -on -one by herself. This is always to avoid the friend zone. And if you don't have a, if you haven't gotten like kissed by the second or third date, man, you probably won't get in the friend zone. She probably be like, oh, this guy is gay. He doesn't want me. So try and go for the kiss as fast as possible. Try and invite her back to your crib as fast as possible. And try and hang out with her, okay? And never, ever, 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 ever listen to a girl's problem about another guy. Don't ever, okay? The first step to get out the friend zone is by making a move. When you make a move, she has the option to either reject you or say, let's just be friends. And if a girl says, let's just be friends, that is a rejection. Don't be her friend afterwards. Cause tell her you want her and you can't be a friend. When you be a friend afterwards, you're basically telling her like, yo, I'ma still be around, I'ma try again, I'ma still gonna give you all this attention and pretend to be your boyfriend. Well, we don't have to do anything that I win, it's all about you. You're basically telling her you're a nice guy. So, if she says, let's just be friends, no, don't do it. And when she says, let's just be friends, girls say this because it's an easy way to reject God. They don't have to be, they don't have to have it on their conscience. They don't have to be upset about it. They don't have, the guy's not going to attack them afterwards. It's an easy way to say, let's just be friends and give them false hopes and dreams. But when you say, no, I don't want to be friends, I want you, you're causing her to have to either reject you or like you. And you're causing friction. You're causing confrontation. This shows that you're a better, 
survivor. It shows that you can help her survive. It shows that you're more manly. Because when things go wrong, you're not just going to go with the flow. You're going to go after what you want. And she's going to be naturally more attracted to you because you're looking more like a man, more like an alpha male. So if she says, let's just be friends, don't do it. So first step of avoiding the friend zone or getting out the friend zone is by making your move. Next up, if you're scared of step one, ah, you're stuck in a friend zone like hell. But step two is basically stuck. You're going to have to cut her off. So you're going to have to cut her off. But when you cut her off, do it slowly and then post up on your Instagram and Snapchat. Use this effectively. So if you're a younger guy around my age, most girls have Instagram and Snapchat. So make sure you follow her on them. And so when you cut her off, you're not going to do it right away. You're going to, if you text her every day, you're going to cut it down to every other day. Text her every other day, cut it down to like twice or three times a week. Then cut it down to once a week, once a week, and then completely disappear. But when you disappear, you're going to be posting stuff on your Instagram and you're going to stop watching her story. So when you post stuff on Instagram and Snapchat, you're going to have to post with a new hobby that you're having fun. You have to post that you're reconnecting with friends. You have to post yourself with other girls, man. Go out, post yourself with other girls. The easiest way to get out the friend zone, honestly, is to make her jealous. Even if you get her, take her to a nightclub, but go talk to other girls. Even if you get her rejected, she's naturally going to be like, oh, you was talking to her. They're naturally going to be jealous. Even they're ugly, go, oh, you was talking to her. They're naturally going to be jealous, okay? So, one. Get some new hobbies, get some friends, go talk to other girl and post all that shit on Instagram and Snapchat and make sure she watches you. Get some high quality photos, get a photographer, use an iPhone X or some shit like that. And then the third step of getting out the friend zone is you have to make a dramatic change in your life and she has to see it. This is done in no contact time when you're not really contacting them. So you're gonna disappear for a couple months, you're gonna be watching a story, and then boom, either you have to get a new job, either you have to get a new swagger, either you have to get a new car, either you have to get a new girl, or you have to get a new wardrobe, something. You have to make a dramatic change when she sees you, it'll be like, oh, you fresh, oh, you new. Oh, damn, this guy's been really progressing. Or even get fucked. But until you make a dramatic change, she's gonna have no reason to want you. She's not gonna be reattracted, okay? The reason initially too that you got a friend zone, the girl didn't see you as man enough. She wasn't attracted to you enough that she wanted you to be your girlfriend or to fuck you or to talk. There's something that it was a turn off, but make yourself more of a tractable person and she's going to end up winning you. So you can do this in different ways. And girls, they see attraction differently from guys. Guys, we look at physical feature. Girls, look at your social status. Girls, look at how high you are, your high your sexual market value is, or how you act around other guys and be a leader among men. So what? Get a new friend group and become the leader. Or get a new job. This proves that you're a higher level scale. You have more money. This brings up your social value. Get a new car. That means more girls going to want you because you're flexing or some shit like that. And get another girl. That means other girls see you as a higher guy demand, and they're going to want you more, okay?